Hello everyone, you will be watching now, later on YouTube, leading in here along with... Rakir! And welcome back to what is probably going to be the final of stream of Iconoclasts. And uh, really? yeah, we've, we've, gotten, we've gone quite a distance in this game, haven't we? Yeah, and I expect this to be the last one, but again, this game has put surprises on us. Yeah. And, and all of this just started with us fixing a heater or something <laughs> and getting thrown in jail. And now uh, apparently the plant is falling apart. Yeah, that, that's quite a bit. And uh, yeah, there's a civil war going on outside because Chrome uh, basically started an insurrection. Also something... Uh, last time he was talking about how uh, he was... Uh, planning to kill himself off as well once uh, all of the other leaders had been dealt with but uh, the moment Elro's serum started taking effect then he got uh, second thoughts very very quick on dying didn't he yeah and that's new he no, no, he no, no longer thought he was uh, immortal Okay, we got bouncing penny mines. Okay. Um, yeah, there is nothing to do up there. Uh, we actually, sh yeah, we can shoot those things to get <laughs> if the men still get hit. Uh, uh, yeah, there is not really anything we can do. Or at least not as far as we know. Like, Royal said he had an idea, but he thought better of it. So yeah, for now we're just leaving. Yeah, almost. Wait, those are new? Yeah, and they're quite effective, I understand. <laughs> okay, it's... For a moment, it looked like it gave the corpse here a helm. <laughs> Another hat. <laughs> and it looks like Chrome's people, our Chrome soldiers, are getting their ha asses absolutely handed to them. And yeah. Oh, hello. was a bit too late with that, I didn't notice the turret. Yeah, so for one side has the better equipment, while the other side has, well, way more numbers. numbers. Yeah, and we missed a pickup. Okay. They, they really just mined the hell out of this place, didn't they? Are we yeah. in the clear? Hmm? Okay, we're in the clear. Uh, ew. All right, then we're just leaving. <laughs> going to do something about Elro's arm. Elro, what did they do to you? Tegan. Sweet mercy, this is awful. But hey, you're alive. Little sister did it save you. Why are you here, Tegan? Is that Master Royal? Chemist, you were friendly with Robin before recently. Well, I mean, I'm... It doesn't matter to me. Do as you'd like. Oh dear, oh my. It truly is the end of the world. In more ways than you actually know. Is hell coming down here too? It... Grant the... Is... Oh, is that the... <laughs> is that the cat from the tower? That Mina's holding? Yeah. 
Are you pulling me? It's crazy around here. I think everyone's been fighting from control of the big rocket. I guess they want to try to, lo to escape by launching it. Because as we know, hanging out in space without any clue is more pleasant. Rocket. Why are you here? Go be with your family or something instead. <laughs> I don't have the good fortune to have such things, my dear. No, I'm just here making sure all these grumpy people don't break the railway lines if I can. That way, those who want to run home to families can. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't fret, I'm pretty used to dealing with things. Everyone's fighting over the rocket. I was thinking about the rocket before we left City 1 behind. And Royal? I thought it was Mina for a bit. We would head for a station built on the small moon. I know I seem to have been partially responsible for this happening a lot sooner. It may sound crazy, but it would be now or never. I want to go to that moon and try to talk to him. With what little power I may have before he reaches the planet. Have fun, send a postcard. <laughs> Elro! I'll do what Chrome wished he could have done. I'm serious. I'm sure you are. Want to go to that moon on your own? What's even there? There's a holy place. It's a place where we could possibly intercept him. I can't do it alone. There's computers to work with uh, within, within a rocket that I don't know how to use. That There's a space in there that shouldn't be there. And then the control room has a two-person rule in effect, where two people in separate rooms have to activate it at the same time. If he still loves the people that never did him any wrong, I would hope he'd revive the planet and spare them. All four of us would need to go, and Robin with me for the technical things in the rocket. I still don't see how we could be able to uh, converse with a space worm. There are supposed to be ways to get back here from the moon, but I can't make promises. I can't force any of you. Well, I want to go home. But if you could save your home, you might die on the way home as well. Just stop it. Also, would that rocket reach that moon before he arrives? It's a very fast rocket. I have refuel, baby. Come on, man. I'll try it, but I am running home as soon as that rocket starts, or anything goes bad. If we can even get to it. Thank you, Mina. Robin, you're with me, right? You've been asleep. We are going home. Stop with this garbage. People don't just go to the damn moons. Do you not hear how insane you are? Who else would go and attempt this, though? Some other idiots. If you need me, then I'll just say no and we can all go home. I'll do your part, then. Just shut up, Elro. The world is bigger than you. If there's any hope, even crazy hope, we should do it. I'll go press that button for you guys. Fine, I'll do it. I'm sorry. That's a good man. I think I should go, though, considering your condition. No, I can do just fine. If it's the end of the world, I am not supposed to care about safety, right? I'll come with you, then. No, you stay here. <laughs> okay, Alro. Just know that you need to be quicker. You sure, buddy? Yes, let's go then. Okay, let's all go downstairs. Okay, so we are going for... It wouldn't have been much of an, an ending if we just sat down and wait for destruction to come. So uh, we have one last Hail Mary attempt. Yeah, I, I was expecting that... Sure, it, this would be a sad end if this was it. Oh. Right, you can go this way, Mina. Just go all the way along this path to control room one. I'll close these doors after you go through to be safer. Okay, don't get locker in as well. Nah. Uh, you're crazy. You started by helping friends, now you're going to shoot off into the sky to try and help everyone else. 
You're a little bit crazy now, I guess. Sorry if it was an asshole. Thank you. Yeah, thank you as well, Mina. You've saved our asses quite a few times. Yeah, those things have infested this place even more. You go this way, Alro. Control room, room, control room two is at the end. Applied. You need to press to launch at the same time as Mina. So when you are both in your opposite rooms, do it. I have clearance. <laughs> Okay. Wait, wouldn't they, wouldn't they have revoked that the moment after you uh, killed Agent Grey? Okay, I guess they have better things to deal, bigger thing to deal with, like uh, the planet dying. Yeah. Thank you for doing this, Robin. Let us not allow fear to dissuade us. Well, let's not allow it to dissuade me. We're going one floor up to the left. Let's go, that's a good rocket. <laughs> right, as I was saying, it would be feel a bit awkward if we went into the boss fight right after the train. Yeah. Oh, hello. Okay, panic mode bastion orders reborns. If you want to keep on living until you mature, defend that rocket. Mature? Humanity may depend on it. It's our last stand, and now everyone knows it. Oh, Laurel and Noble and Mendeleev. Now don't get too cocky. You're still very you know, freshly reborn. You can't heal yourself fast enough yet, like agents can. And one of them is falling asleep. Make use of your strengths, but do not go berserk. Now go claim that rocket. Okay. So that's what they were. Yeah, new rec agent recruits. All right, for Samba and for Mom. For Robin. We can do this. Okay, and we get to play as Mina again for a bit. What the? Oh. Hey. It's one thing after another. Come on, game, give me a chance to analyze what the heck is going on. Hey. What is the dog host? There's some sort of <laughs> mechanical chain chomps. Pardon? Pardon what? Ow! My eyes! Oh, oh, oh that was a blind nurse! Let's not step in the fire. I heard that. I heard yeah, it's the I could have reached that, but I was too late. Oh well, that one doesn't matter anymore. Okay. Now, for some reason, Mina can't crawl around like Robin can. Maybe because her shotgun weighs her down a lot more. So, uh, I think. I think it's more like. It's a bit of a hassle to do it with a shotgun. Yeah, no, it, it's it's more it's more like a freaking cannon. Is that basically an elephant gun? And if it fires the explosive rounds. Okay. I hope we don't have to do a platforming section for Elro because I don't think he'll be doing well at it. Yeah, with the uh, one arm. Actually, now I look at the, the shotgun. It looks way more like a newer version of a hand cannon. Yeah. 
Which one would you explain why the heck you have explosive ammo? Oh, he only just made this. Okay, don't... Is there more? There, There is more. Oh, uh, hello there. Ha, you're the one who ends up in my face? Get out of my way, we're taking your rocket. Oh dear, will you point that big gun at me then? You're gonna pump me full of your buckshot, little lady? Oh, I love a good fiery swat across my skin. Okay. So we're dealing with uh, a masochist. I don't care if you want your rocket, I have my own problems. I couldn't pass up a little tussle with you, could I? A little fire with fire? Okay, at the very least... Uh, uh, at the very least we got healed. Uh, we're dealing with some sort of demon ballerina. What the ballerina? Ballerina! Seriously! Yeah, she's dancing around like that. Nope. Yo, oh, that, that does a good amount. Ow! Uh, Somebody tells me he will be insulted if you compare to a ballerina. He seems to be way more mature. Ooh. She, uh, she has quite a bit more powers oh, than the other agents seem to have, or at least a lot more powerful. Yeah, but they did say don't go into the turf mode, which means they could uh, destroy themselves, possibly. Especially when they are only to heal themselves. Yeah. Okay, that one I can see coming. Ow. And there we go, shot her in midair. I think I'm done. Uh... <laughs> okay, and she just... She just falls off screen like Mario, and they give me a second, and that's a bot swatted. Okay. Yeah, one of, one of those d diamond dozen. Hey, want to be famous bots? It, there's a crawl space oh. there, but we can't go down there. Okay. I think this is the last room. Just have to hope El Elro gets here pretty soon. Oh no. Okay, we don't have to do a platforming section with them. These are the chemical laboratories. Your brother would have worked in these facilities somewhere. There's meant to be someone working here with a disk that holds a rocket password we need. We know... Who knows what has been going here by... Uh, by now, though. We could split up to find that faster. You don't need me around anyway. You'll come across a door that requires a ticket. Wait for me there, okay? Good luck, Robin. Hmm. Okay. That, 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 was, that was a fun little boss fight. Yeah, and... It, how long have you been playing already? Alright. Uh, 20 minutes. Yeah. Okay, here's a guess. Do you have any dog with uh, in an hour? Or it would nicely neatly finish off within two hours. We'll have to see here. Okay, yeah. there's a bunch of these teleporter blocks. So far I'm just guessing for again, this game has put a few surprises and so far, I've seen how we started today, uh, this game has been quite well uh, paced. Or pasted, or what the term is. Paced, yeah. yeah. Okay, 
what's the meaning with all of these uh, swap blocks? Are we going to need to stack the... those up or something? Okay, that's that one stuck in place. This one's easy. Okay, we need to need we need to turn all of these to get them to stick. We need to... Are we going to need to stack these things up to get to, uh, me over here? Or to get to these? One moment I thought you were about to cross yourself with a box. I, I don't wanna, think we have to reach hmm. oh. oh Wait, is there something hidden here? Yeah, that, that's what I was wondering. Is, is there something there? It was something there. Okay, a, a key. It's it's been a bit since we've gotten our hands on one of these. What is that supposed to do? This is locked. I don't see what this what that is supposed to do. I can hear something slam shot though. Hmm. Maybe that becomes openable once we're done here. Please, yeah, we're not going to be able to get over or get to these blocks with just these. Hmm. Oh, certainly since we need one of them over here to get out. Though that also works. So then we get to this problem again. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, we're not. Is that enough to finish it? Closer. Doesn't seem to be working. So we would need the fifth one over here. I think. Hmm. We need one of them to get out. Hmm. You, you can always throw them back there, I, I guess, afterwards. Let's try this. Uh, am I, did I just find a way to cheese this? I think you just did. There we go. <laughs> uh. it becomes a bit of a... actually, no. 
There. Much easier to get back. Uh, then I think we come to the same problem here. That we need one to get out. Maybe to crawl on that. But then I, th I think we can try to the same little trick here. Yep. <laughs> there we go. Probably not how this is in really intended, but it works. Wait, these... Oh, come on. Don't tell me that they reset. Or no, it's because we left. That's why those two reset. Yeah, that would make sense. Go. Okay, not entirely how we were supposed to do this, I think, but uh, I don't think anyone is going to complain. There's nothing about this sound effect of her crawling sounds so horrible. That lowers that. But we can't crawl through here. Okay, so... Yeah, we're supposed to go around here now then. But now... Now this is going to be blocked off again. Or... Oh, no, no. We made... We opened up the door. So that doesn't matter anymore. Okay, we kind of messed up that with the key, but at least we can get through. There's probably still only just... Oh. Yeah, so far it's been only been uh, quick materials. Hmm. Now, there we go. That turns that off. But not that one. Okay. Hmm. Ah. There we go. That one we didn't want to go supercharged through it. back around and this place is hmm. okay I see now there we go now we switched to the bombs charge up and there we go And that didn't... Hmm. Are we too slow or something with this? We need to keep that bulb charged. It's fully charged now. Or at least it went dark, which should mean that it could stay active. Maybe we just left the screen too fast for it to fully register. Yeah, it looked. Yeah, we, we were too fast there.
Oh, it's the Mighty Mechanic. How did you get in? I'm sorry to say it, but we were locked in here. One concern finally found out about our hidden intent to develop and share new non-ivory non ways to power things for people. If we round it up in here, our demise is likely in order. We had a good run though, right? Had some laughs, did some poses. Seriously, get us out of here! <laughs> we'll feed my cats if I die. <laughs> oh, where did you enter this room from? Oh, hello there, miss. Hey, she took my key through the chemical ventilation. Oh no. Please draw and get us out. Oh. You get... Oh, oh, come on. She's using them as human shields. Here you go. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. Ow. Okay. <laughs> She's apparently a fan of Bomber Man. And these guys are getting up. Ah, ah. <laughs> okay, that was... A See you. Get, get out of the way of that. Uh, where's the other one? Uh, there, there. Sorry. Uh, side of her. Where is she? Ah, I see her up top. No, no. Okay, she is fast. Oh. Sight. Sight. There you are. After. <laughs> What hit me there? Went down. Oh, it's those ghosts that hit. Okay, oh, we're at least about halfway. Oh, both of us. Yeah, come on. Your butt. There you are. Yep. Now, come on. You just have a stun weapon, another killing weapon. Yeah. <laughs> well, she's doing a job, good job at stunning us in turn. There she is. Where are you? Yep. There she is. She just went into the vents. Oh, oh, you cheating! She went, she went through the, the solid material walls. I have to give these guys credits for being tough enough to get back up again. Yeah. Then again, you all your two things done, guy. Lost me enough. Okay, we are getting close, dude. Come on. Oh, see. Come on. There we go. Yeah, it got close. And... Day Mario away. <laughs> okay, ha hang up some air freshness in here. Our biggest, hugest thanks. 
I suppose you had to fire knockout shots through us a few times, but you still saved us. We need a password disk to the rocket launch pad? All the gun toters are trying to get uh, to go there though. But then what do you do? And what you do is what makes things progress. So I will play my role in your quest. You can do it. Perseverance will always get you to the end. We'll get the heck out of here now. And we got it. Hmm. You still need to find that door that Royal spoke of. The one that requires a ticket. And there's something here. I'm guessing we'll find that door here. <laughs> okay, random bed. Yep, Robin, down here, but down where? Oh, hello. Ah, there you are. I think I looked in all the other labs, and I didn't really see anyone except some soldiers. How did you get here past the chemical people without them noticing? Would you noticing them? I'm sorry, but we need that password to make a launch possible. What? You got it? Really? I guess I did say we'd both be searching. I just expected to be the one to find it. I'm a worthless jerk, honestly. Stop that attitude. Sorry, my thoughts have been a bit rocky lately. But you're right. So, we're set. We'll reach the path to where we can enter the rocket from this door here. We need some white tickets to get this open. It's a long story. I have some, so no worries there. Let us just pray Mina and Alaro make it to the rocket launch room. And are we getting... We are getting an Alaro section. Okay, uh... Yeah, we definitely... Yeah, with a broken sword. Yeah, that's why I and, said hall. <laughs> and someone has gotten to here first. Someone strong enough to knock the door out of its frame. And yeah, at the speed that we're going, we're in no condition to fight. Master sword knockoff or not. Like, why the hell do you even have a sword in the first place, Elro? Okay, so we can stab and we can uppercut with it. I very much doubt that we can reflect those attacks with this. Oh, we... Okay, we can. So I guess that is going to be how we'll fight whoever is behind here. And there's only one of those three left. The big burly one. Well, I just realized... We're still missing black. Okay, Elro isn't going here for the stuns. And it seems he's at least strong enough to kill these guys in one swing, which takes Robin like a dozen shots. What the heck? Uh, um, look in the background. What's with all of that swirling? Yeah, that is a concern, ain't it? Hmm. Okay. Well, the world is, and the world, the planet is literally falling apart. Hmm. Oh, hello, Rambo. I sense your weakness, soldier. Weak man only stands by his perceived morals until the day he has to face them himself. Man's strength is in knowing his station and defending that with his with sweat and with his blood and sweat. You are the wall keeping the past from the future, yet you choose to leave the door open. 
That is your power. You can control your fate. I think the I think the one with the gun to the, his forehead has uh, more control over that fate. The world is small next to a man's raw determination. Your decision to defy your purpose will lead to the world's collapse. Our future is being erased. The babes filing from the bosoms of their decaying mothers. Only the weak fear death. Death is your purpose. The greater good. <laughs> okay, what sort of caliber do you have in that thing? <laughs> to just plink, get launched. The fates are set. Prove your devotion. Our purpose is to meet our knights through our own darkness. Okay, we can't. <laughs> okay, we can't just play <laughs> straight up stabbing. Oh, without struggle, there is no development. We need our battles to evolve. Animals develop antlers, horns, quills, jaws. They fight so they can further their species. We are mere animals, all of us. We must weed out the weak just the same. Okay, we can't touch them. That end. Don't you go pointing. Okay, that's it's going to throw those low as well now. Uh, <laughs> don't you just shake your head at me. There's no place for us to be frivolous. We hold the commands, we are the leaders. Yep. Well, you're not leading this combat. Really. They may not appreciate it, but it's for the greater good. They may resist, but they merely didn't comprehend. Or they may, or more easily, you have no interest in having them comprehend. They do not know their place in the world. Okay, I get the feeling we are going to die here. Especially if I keep misreading these attacks. Station point. Okay, he, he doesn't have a, an animation where he's flat on his back. Lands flat on his back like uh, the girls do. It probably makes sense considering he only has one arm. Also, this guy's what this guy is saying is contradictory. On the one hand, he says to protect the, the frail, but on the other hand, he also says to weed them out. You, sir, sound like a hypocrite. Or at least yeah. like someone who has no actual understanding of their own morals. Ah, yes, yeah, shut up, Mr. Pointy. I have a pointy end for you to meet. Hey. We're getting your ass beaten by a man, a one-armed man. Okay, that one we need to jump over. Yeah, a one-armed man with half a sword. Okay, the birds are there to mess with us. Yo, come on. Okay, unless he starts throwing out even more tricks, we should have this. Blah blah blah, you don't even know dude. your own place in the world. Also, your aim is shit. <laughs> okay, three more times should do it. Make them understand that ours is the truth. Who gives you the right to determine that it is the truth? What you the truth? 
Yeah, what you say. Forever live by the true laws of nature. Those various laws that are saying now that you are being beaten. Yeah, and Strength, determination, me... protecting, governing. You are who you are, forever and always. And now we have Wind again, those come and claim your true self. Now. This should be it. There we go. We are unwavering. You just refuse to see. Or are you refusing to uh, consider other options when your current ones are failing? Why are you... I should have expected that. Yeah, uh, Elbow doesn't give a fuck. Hmm. We're almost there, Robin. On your way to Midway, his future awaits. This is it, the last chance. I'm the only true link to him remaining. Intercepting him is the only choice. All other choices are death. With you at my side, we can do this. Nothing but wayward soldiers remain in our way now. Let's do this. Together. Hmm. I doubt that... Yeah, we still have more to fight. Yeah, and I just realized an interesting comparison I can uh, see about the uh, one piece turn and the rest of them. That is? They are a religious oil company. <laughs> yeah, you're, <laughs> you're right on that. Come on, boys. Actually... Oh, there was a miss. At least it won't break the planet. There we go. We should use this mode a lot more to deal with enemies. Especially since it gets <laughs> since it gets through those blasted shields. Hmm? Yeah. Ain't that new? Hmm? What? Um, those with the tiny shield look new. No, we've seen those before. Oh, Alright. And what is the... What is the blue slime, I wonder? Yeah, it's some sort of natural parasite. Uh, nothing there. Still more? Oh, oh, come on. It's stuck. It's stuck here. We need to get to the top. There's no time for this. Do you, do you think you can fix it somehow? Well, she is a mechanic. <laughs> and that's exactly what that look said. I'm a mechanic. Alright, Ace Mechanic. You've twisted every nut and every bolt across this continent. Let's twist these last cantankerous nuts and finally save this planet. You can do it. Rip out your tool and... You... Oh, yep. Oh. I got a fucking bazooka. Black? Whatever your planet is useless this time. We are not in the detritus sand pit anymore. I'll expect a revenge on you for attempting to murder me. This runs me, Robin. 
You cannot stand in our way, Agent. Nope. Uh, she can and she will. Where is he? Okay, she's completely lost it. We have to escape from her. The elevator needs to work before we can try that. Okay, yeah, she's gone. She's gone fully berserk. Yeah, what did that even open? If anything. Actually harm you, but you're probably just going to re regenerate, aren't you? That would need to be can I somewhere long enough to do some fighting. If that's yep. the answer. And we're timed on this. Because the uh, the lowest light turned off. Yeah, I thought something was a little bit wrong here. Oh, I, yeah, I recognize that one now. At least those stay shut or open. Oh, she's staring at the fucking floor entirely. Okay, quick, 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 quick. Yes. Okay, we should end this. Or you'll keep her off my ass. There. Yo, no need to move so smug. We're almost there. Uh, yeah, Black's going full hardcore. <laughs> A magic cyborg with the bazooka. How did you get here before us? Give up, Agent. This is my rocket. It's our rocket now. We're taking it to the moon. Shut up. This is my rocket. This death glare. I have become so old. Sometimes when I dream, I can still recall images of memories from long ago. I think I had people in my life. I remember a very clean man suggesting I transcend. Something in my life made me go ahead with such a risk. In the dream, I lie down in the machine surrounded by men in white. The machine closes and the ivory starts to enter me. I feel like I'm about to catch fire from within, but before I can scream, I lose consciousness. Then I wake up. I'm still here, but with these heavy arms and what feels like knives in my head. Cutting, unending. A state I can only describe as feeling unintended. What was I doing? Let me, let me do what I still know. I don't care at all about fate. Maybe I used to. I could only try to end it so many times before I accepted I was easy to bring back. In my pocket, there is a piece of paper that states my latest order. It doesn't change for a long time. Whoever wrote it made me. I spent too long on this now. I don't care whatever, whoever steps in front of me. This chunk of metal is me. This is my rocket. And she only has the fight left. She has nothing else.
By all rights, he's a garbage of a human. Elro, you should destroy him. Where is he, you infantile, naive harlot? Mm. For a time, I felt I could have another purpose. Could I change? A wonderful person in my life, who I chose to let... Who I chose to let close. Close as in uh, near. 187 years they tried, and I would refuse. But then... The goddamn Devil of Sediment 17 thinks he has enemies all around him. And bang. Gone. So back we go. Back to duty. This is my rocket. If you keep hitting it like that, it's not going to be much of a rocket anymore, right? Okay. Nice little detail. The, the bazooka bounces off every time she hits it. There's yeah. They didn't need to put in like, su such a small detail. They put a lot of small details in this game. I think I know your real name. I read it at some point in a, in a file. Madeline. I'm so sorry about your life, but... Maybe your purpose is different now. You damn well better keep calling me Agent Boy. The rocket was meant to save humanity. It never will, as it tended, now. We have to intercept him and communicate. Isn't protecting humanity your order? This is important. This is bigger than you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so right. There has never been anything smaller than me. You take this damn rocket, no, this rocket over my dead body. Robin, we have no choice. We will have to kill her, but she will stop the launch. You still have Mina's seeds, right? Uh. Fuel lines. Black, you can't win. I guess I got my answer from her. All I did, you people, are so lucky. Gray, die. Sorry, Madeline. My, my head, the rocket is mine. Head, head. I will have. What does that 
What do those things want with the ivory tree? We should keep going. Before this thing just drains. But now there's even more. It's the only chance we have left, Robin. She was a horrible person. Perhaps, but in part, she was made horrible. In part, she chose to be horrible. This elevator should get us to the rockets inside the senior room. We almost succeeded. Oh, uh, but, uh, hello, surprise boss. What in the world is that? <laughs> Stop it or it will ruin the rocket. It, it won't... Ow. It wants, it wants the ivory fuel tanks. Okay, it shudders, and then it pushes back. I missed whatever that was. Oh, thorns. Uh, ow. Thorn rockets. Okay, this last one only reveals itself once it's shot it pushes back. Yeah. Ow. Okay, we have only a really small window of opportunity. Oh come on, what what is the tell on that? with its arm before it does that. Or its arm quivers. Its head quivers when it does that. Okay. Now I get the patterns. Uh, full body is the torpedoes. There we go. And that bounces off. Okay, lost bar. And I was out of charge. Uh, at least we don't have a time limit now. Oh, there we go, that's the last one. What do we... Shoot next. Um, oh, there's one on the head. Some sort of cracker job plans. And thank you for all of the help. You have kind of windows, actually. Oh. Where the hell did this thing come from? Oh, I think no one got that. The ivory of the pure line. In the ancient. Oh. Uh, uh, hello, uh, is it, did it somehow absorb Black's hatred? Oh. Yeah, I think they jumped on her, they got trouble on her hot body before it fully killed Black Green. And the guy, he died. 
Give it up, Black. Or whatever you are part of now. It respawns us back on the platform if we fall off, so no uh, stupid instant death pit. Yeah, good. Yeah, it, this game has been far too nice to be that dickish. Head ache. Yeah, it. Yeah, it was black. Achievement unlocked, pitch black. <laughs> You're doing the right thing, and it's the only thing. And for once, uh, he is correct. This is the only thing that has a chance of, at halting whatever's to come. All the other things. It is all thanks to you, Robin. The world has a chance because of you. I know it. Remember that. So, the final thing you should use is the machine you're standing by. You'll get it working, and then enter the password from before. Mother could just override something like this with her power. I would blow it up. Good luck. Yeah, all of the other times when people were talking about it is the only thing or it's the only way it was mostly because, well, they refused to see or seek any other way. Elro, where are you? Come on, man. I don't want to be here. I want to go home. No computer say anything about what Robin and Royal having done whatever they would do. Well, I'm sure I sure have more faith in Robinstein. There you are. Come on, Alro. Oh, there you are. Thank you, ancestors. So yeah, as Royal warned us, we're separated by this bank teller thing, for whatever reason he said. I don't think we can press anything yet. Still waiting on those two. Well, is a unique little boy, but if this ends up saving us, I guess I'll be <laughs> off it. I'll get off his back. More importantly, I'd be cool for helping save the world. I'd get all the action in. Are you okay? He's still probably be laying out to a degree. I hope world didn't send you through too much. Well, did he? Did they do it? The red lights turned white? Yep. Yes, it says I can launch. Awesome, you just need to press the button on the screen. Press yours, Elro. Come on, Elro. Did you hear me? We have to press it together or it won't work. What are you doing? We have actually met... We may actually meet him soon. It feels so strange to say. Perhaps I could even ask him what my purpose was in the end. Everyone ended up hating me here. Never had to think about what my purpose may be. Or how, maybe, there never was one. What would I even do if I had none? Well... You could make one. Choose one. Caught in her. Push the button, Alro. No. What is wrong with you? I'm not going to press a button that may you know, just as well blow up that thing. Blow up. We are launching this thing, so just press the button. I'm not sending my little sister to the moon. It's ridiculous. We are all going home. 
Lobo. Elro, you've lost your mind. It's the end of the world. It's not just us. Why should we believe that? Because Royal said it. Because the earthquakes are getting worse and worse. Robin wants it, Elro. Robin doesn't know what she wants. You don't know her. Actually, Mina does know her. And you have actually been away for a lot of her life. So, can you say you know her, Elro? Push the button. <laughs> Perhaps we create our own purpose. If we manage to return from this, I shall practice my unique powers. If I become anything like Mother, maybe I can pre prevent the fighting? I don't want to frighten people into compliance, however. At times, looking back, the, it seemed like Mother did. No, she definitely did. I'm not sure what he even wanted anymore. Robin isn't in that rocket right now waiting for you, Elro. Yeah, so that's why I'm going go over there now to get her. You're not going to go anywhere. I've had enough of this. No. You come right to hell back here. You shoot me otherwise. I I'll do it. And I meant to push a button after I'm dead. Just shut up. I'll shoot your leg. What's that gonna, uh, going to matter? It doesn't push the button. <laughs> push the button. Goodbye, Mina. This trip is over. Yeah. Oh, she actually did shoot him. Elro? Elro, get back up. No, 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 no. Do you think they made it to the launch center? We've been here for a while. It should be fine. Do you think we might need to return to where we left them? Is this it? Or we... How? Did she break through that thing somehow? Or... And there goes where the remains of black. Did Tegan follow them? And no, this is sonnet on my end as well. We're on our way. Do not panic. It's far from the first moon rocket. There's a holy structure on the small moon. That's our and that is our destination. There used to be one on the large moon, but it stopped being safe to build on long ago. And because a huge freaking worm parked on it. So, um... Yes, that is the destination. I have not been to either, if you are wondering. I was just told stories. I am calm, however, do not worry. It is all fine. It is good. I am fine. Space travel deaths haven't been numerous for at least a year. <laughs> I think he's mostly just talking to himself now to uh, not panic. I'm glad you are here. You're great. I mean, that is what anyone would say at this point. You're all so... hope so. Helpful. If we make it back, I would hope we could meet again, I guess. But I mean... no. I'm just a clumsy dimwit who failed at every turn. You should probably ignore me. I'm just glad you made it this far. You are really amazing. You're great. Oh, 
script doesn't take too long. Yeah, it'd be rather stupid if we were still in space and the, the worm is already down on the planet. Incredible. If you look upon his creations like this, it's empty in here. Wish we had more time to take this in, but we should find some place where we can see him. Okay, now we really are in just in the finale. The grand finale, even. There we can see. Oh, and these are capsules that could potentially get us back. The escape pods, okay. I was told there is a map in there through which you can select a destination. That is it, I guess. EMCA. Emergency. Alright. We have the planet, we have the big moon, and again these freaking chemicals. Also, these white doors, they should open with uh, me approaching them. It is a similar permission registry to the one concerned cameras. It's these lit panels. No need for you having to spend time figuring out ways to bypass these. Oh! Okay, and they they haven't gotten time to unregister you yet. Again, because uh, things have been rather busy and... Okay, things look rather square on the planet down there, as you can see. Yep. Yeah, that is completely unnatural. Yeah, hence why I was thinking that the pl planet is more mechanical. Welcome to Midway, peoples. Uh, hello. Reserved for Emmett Darlin. For Aisling Ferrier. Be a Block Rock. Oliver Shard. Joseph Glass. Mother. Progeny Royal. Madeline Pinoche. Wait, there's no rooms for any of the other agents? Okay, I guess she was considered their elite with uh, break on. I I can see him. I think he is the he is this near us already. His shape it truly does resemble a star worm from here. Closer than anybody alive has ever been to him. Former holy progeny wants to reason with the gods. But yes, this is bigger than me. It's everything on the planets, Mina and Alro, and everyone. And you, Robin. I will focus all the energy I can. My powers will make contact, he will notice me. All the hope we have left is that. In meeting us here, he might have a change of heart. <laughs> Need to try harder. Don't break yourself, Royal. He he flinched, didn't he? No, he's definitely turning. He is about to grant audience with me. I am I am not ready. He's coming so fast too. Very fast indeed. That is a bit more than just a worm. Wait. And, oh, come the fuck on. One of those things. Uh, I, I am... Oh, my dear God. I mean... Oh, <laughs> great, wonderful E. Oh, magnificent star bomb. I do not deserve to look upon your being. Um, uh, uh, um, magnificent, beautiful, awesome He. Thank you for granting me audience. I think he isn't really interested in an audience with you. I think he wants the ivory in you. Or at least the thing infecting it is. 
On behalf of all of humanity, I welcome your return. Well, okay, um... So we understand that you visit us out of deep dissatisfaction. Indeed, much has gone wrong, and many people have defied your divine laws. However, I can only pray that you do not come here to vanquish us all. I, your progeny and representative of humanity, was led to believe what was being done was in accordance with your wishes, but it clearly was not. Many humans have evidently been misled by half-truths. I will plead with you as a divine representative on the judgment of humans. Not all humans are bad. I think... Well spoken, but I think your words might be wasted with uh, that thing not seem to care much at all. Am I, am I doing something wrong, my lord? I, I hope I have not offended you with improper manners. So, so are you here to destroy us? Might you spare the planet? Please bless us with your answer. Can it even answer? Why do you not respond? I am royal, your chosen leader. I was chosen by you. I was chosen by you, right? No, royal. You and all the others were chosen by luck. Speak to me! What is it? Yeah, you were... Wait, what are you doing? Why are you leaving? Come back here. Wait, that... You can't. I am royal. I'm divinity, like you. You will listen. Wait, that looked like the, that. That looked like that weird gun thing. What's happening to my head? My. Uh. uh fuck! It's all going. It's heading off. Ah, uh, crap. Okay, so basically, the real enemy all along has been those blue parasites. What have I done? Everyone hates me. I ruined everything. Not everyone hates you, Royal. Otherwise, we wouldn't be carrying you right now. I'm worthless, sinner. I should be dead. You shouldn't. Let me know. Mother was right not to love me. I am a mistake. She never loved you. You are not a mistake. You are certain. No, you are a bastard. But not in that way. But you try, Royal. You try to improve. You try to help. Just no. You can finally be. I don't think anyone would be happy when they you know, dance. You, there's no the capacity to be happy. When, oh crap! Walk with him? Okay. Um, can we swap with. No. How did that switch? Is there anything? We can't just leave him behind. Is there nothing we can do? Behind. We can't swap with him. Wait, can we?
Is there nothing we can do? Is there nothing we can find in here? Yes. Can we take out one of these locks? I'm not leaving you, Royal. Come here, you. It seems that we have no choice. I need to go through all of this now. We could have at least put forward a. We could have at least put a checkpoint at the timer starting. Yeah, so let's investigate a little bit here. Like, is there anything we can do? Not seeing anything we can interact with. No, there are no boxes to move around to block the door with. Already. Go ahead. Oh, wait. Wait. Okay. There's a path down there that I overlooked earlier. Maybe we can find something in there. But it's locked now. I was gonna say we should be for something there. Should be in the next room. There it is. It still seems to be locked. Wait, that actually launches it up. Did we miss something somewhere? To be able to open those up or something? There was another one earlier. We couldn't open either. Mm. I guess we're forced to leave him behind then. Wait, can we fool him? I already tried. You can only pick him up and put him down. No Alright then, game. If you force us, let's at least see what happens now then. That was the entire moon from the looks. Why did that thing have a self-destruct or whatever just happened? Oh, come on! Okay, for a moment I was expecting us to fully crash into our house there. Yeah, save here. Save your room? Save your B. What? Robin? Why are you here? How did you... Are you alright, honey? Is 
So you're back alone. Well, we're all about to go, right? Sorry, that's terrible. We're back home, though. Not too good. You're too good, huh? That worm creature smashed into the ground near here. What will happen now? Well, what we've always been doing so far, Mina. We go kick its ass. Sweet little Robin. Please don't feel like you fail. It's crazy, the amount of things you have managed to do. You just wanted to help, despite people resisting. That makes you cool, okay? It made me realize how much of a jerk I can sound like. Also that I'm pretty selfish. Some decisions are meant to just be for yourself. They are for everybody else. But it doesn't stop me worrying I've ruined everything I had with Samba and my mother. Those emotions are okay, but sometimes there is a greater purpose, right? <laughs> I kind of feel like I'm rambling a bunch of quotes from a poster. But I think I'm making a point. Maybe it's just more excuses for myself. I'm good at those. Your brother is in your house. Some other people who helped out along the way too. You should go now. Robin, I'm so sorry for anything stupid I said or did. Everybody loves you, okay? Don't forget that. You're bigger than all of us. I wish the world could have known that. I, I think I need to go home now. I don't know how many days or hours or minutes we have left. These two conflicting sides of my stupid life. I'm afraid that everyone hates me. Farewell, little Robin. I'll see you in a different world. Hopefully one without the stupid worm. Oh, oh, oh. Gustavo and... Uh, oh, for a moment I thought he got his arm back, but no, it's, he just turned the other side. Yeah. Did, did it crash in front of you somehow? Go on. No, at, at times I think his... I think at times there was a small... Uh, that's his, that his broken off arm was showing on his uh, left side. But that might have been uh, more for model work or something. I think they, they're doing a pixel art thing. I dislike that uh, mirror image. Like you see in, in older games, like you have one shield on one side, then you turn the character, then Sonic's shield is on the wrong arm. Yeah. And the cat is also here. The stories Once we can echo here about you, they are nuts, but also, so it's very true. You can go to space and come right back. <laughs> I take it things didn't go too all too well. While we were up there, he streaked across the skies. We've done more than enough. It's time to just let whatever is about to happen, happen. Only when we submit this, uh, the expected come true, Tegan. Now, now, would we ever suggest that little Robin could take on the great and monstrous space hose? <laughs> Her wrench may be big, but he is not a bolt, is he? Mechanics can achieve anything given the right input. Really, Robin, you are already the queen of the mechanics. Have your rest. I've been Elro's friend for a long time now. I know him well. I know what he may or may not do. I've always tried to push him in the right direction. If he tells me to stay behind, I know for sure to do the opposite. To push the buttons for him. He does love you, his sunflower. Even when one of her machines fail and cover as her big face in suits, she keeps smiling. A sunflower always faces the sun. And maybe the sunflower can convince this man to plant his butt on the bed. <laughs> he insists on sitting here, ignoring this doctor's sage advice. We should leave you two alone now. Whatever comes, I wish you all the best. 
What say you, conductor? Will you greet the dawn with me? Oh, with tremendous pleasure. Goodbye. Yeah, now if she goes with the same dumb run as the other Kimiko. I'll see you around. Eat your veggies. He wishes to grant you penance within your own home. Well, we both grew up here. Dying here fits pretty well. Those two, they try to humor you. Did you notice? Even now, they would stupidly think to. I try to tell you people that the rocket would be pointless. You are back, so that's good. Maybe we'll get... Maybe we'll get to see Ella again. I want to have her back. Please, just stay with me now. Let's meet the end together. That's all I want. It's only you and me now. Please, just stay here with me now. It's not the answer, is it? Well, Tegan did just say... Whenever he says A, do B. I... We're going to help, even if everyone wants us not to. Yeah, and I am half hoping that Royal somehow was able to grab another life pod for there was more than we just one there. New key item, mother? Huh? That was one of the pupils. They, he he got a far ass way out of the uh, out of the barrier woods. And here's the pit of that thing, and it it stinks. Ow. Well, the thing is, we all have to respect that the star worm might no longer be alive. Uh, yeah, it went. When uh, when Royal cracked open its head, it showed more blue of that parasite within it. So I think this, I think the Star War may have been dead for who knows how long. Must be been the the reason for a shortage of an ivory, even or in this many workers. Mm. Another one of those machines. <laughs> Uh, what, no. yeah. Oh wait, that's uh. Oh wait, I remember. Light drives those things off. That thing is on it. We can't uh, kill it. Wait! Oh, hello! Oh, hello! That. But we can't. We can swap them off. Okay. Uh, oh, hello there. Ow. You're just going to be a pest through the entirety of this, aren't you? Oh, yeah, I have to do the ball this fight. Yeah, I know the. Wait, uh, isn't. And I stomp him twice already now. And how do I get this thing off of my back? I just checked and we are almost at two hour mark. Yeah, we still have at least 15 minutes. Yeah, do this should be Yeah, I feel like we should definitely try and finish this off uh, this evening if possible. Yeah. So this is not really grand finale.
Okay. Oh, well, I mean it. No. Hmm. Okay, the bigger one didn't like being bombed. You not get hit by it there. How did that miss? Okay, the kids gloves are off. That. Anything more now? How am I supposed to deal with you? Not like that. Not like that. And you don't respond to getting zapped with the usurper. How the hell do I deal with you then? Oh, hold on a moment. The, the wrench. Okay, that works. Even though it's, it pretty much leads to us getting hurt as well. Okay. I was wondering, do you think they are the ones actually responsible for the iron door shortage? Well, they, they seem to be going at they seem to have been going after ivory so yeah it could be that they have been gobbling up ivory as well speeding up the process and considering how did they pay <laughs> they continue the mastermind behind it all from the very beginning I'm not entirely sure if masterminds could be the most accurate term, seeing as these seem to be the mostly mindless beasts. That's the thing. I think the people may mistake to think they are just mindless animals, but they might not be at all. Could be, yeah. We. For every time they are attacked up. Oh, not random. Yeah. Hmm. There is some there is some intelligence behind all these things. Yeah. Oh god, I think I know what they're inspired by. Smoke off. With that I mean they are. Definitely a lot and inspired by creatures with many eyes and keep changing form. Okay, that is new. If we hit those ghosts with the wrench, they calm down and become weakened, so we can shoot it. Oh, that's actually new. And this is from an entirely different biome. Oh dear. Now let's deal with this stupid thing first. Oh, come on, that's another one. At least they got three infected. <laughs> okay, this is just going to be a, a gauntlet, isn't it? Did it at least save a... No, it did not. It did not give us a checkpoint. Yeah. 
Ja. I... I don't get how we're supposed to fight this thing without getting hurt. Yeah, that already took out half our health. Yeah, there is no upgrade system in this game. Or there's the tweaks, but there's nothing for health. If, if those attacks would knock it back, then it would be understandable. But no, they don't. At least some of these things are dropping health. Miss. No, come on. Okay, that's three quarters. And it seems that there are even there. It seems that there are more of those controller things down here. So why did destroying one of them speed seemingly speed up the apocalypse? Okay. Probably, maybe, it, maybe it's not because we destroyed one. Might be because. These fires to control them. Yeah, th th this is just a death trap. I do not see how you're supposed to reliably beat these. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm just playing, going to look up if there's some specific way you're supposed to beat those freaking roly poly things. Yeah, you just have to do that, for we are so close to the damn end. Mm. Come on, stupid... No, not the freaking lights. Anything about strategy and fighting these things, it does not say anything about it. That With whatever that is. Mm. Yeah, I. Now I'm not seeing anything, and anything I'd likely find would probably be more spoilers. Yeah, it. We know that the range hurts them. So, maybe... Because, uh, if they speed up if they give the range. Come on, my motherfucking thing. This is the best idea that I have at the moment, to just dance around the thing and just get in one hits every time, but these stupid things are getting in the way of that. Oh, 
what? Yeah, I'm just going to say this. These these enemies are worthlessly uh, designed. The, the, the only way, to... the only way to reliably hurt them is to let them hurt you in turn. That is just bad design. I... Uh, it should put us in a room with one of them alone, not with these little shitty extras to get in the way. Alone, they are easy, but as we got the spinner and the trash mob, it becomes a problem. We can hit them and just barely get out of their range. The moment that these little irritants get in the way, it becomes infinitely harder. Yeah, this, this is a, this is just bad design. At least, if you're going to introduce hard enemies like this, introduce them solo, not with these little peasants. Yeah, there's no need to make every fight towards the boss. Well, an army of mean bosses. At least I drop health. Yeah, look. I wonder, would electrified range do more harm against them? I, I guess this is where you're supposed to learn how... That... Yeah, it, it feels like the previous room is just bad design, because those two... The, the ghosts are supposed to be a big hint as to not to use your gun on this. So yeah, that feels like just a massive design oversight. And no health from this one, of course. Yeah, compared with all of the other good design around it feels like yeah that previous room is just a mistake <clears throat> and then then just here that another one spawns in the middle of it all just were they rushing this towards the end? They, they instantly just group up and ruin everything you can try about dodging them. Yep. Hope we wonder, are we missing something here? I'm looking up something more iconic. Let's see. Eyes. Last. Scratch. No. no. I'm not finding anything on how to... Uh, let's see. Impact site. Or impact zone. Let's see. Hmm. Final region. Yeah. Let's see. 
Robin fights several eye possessed spine controller enemies. Okay, does this say anything about these and how to fight them? Okay, that. Yeah, something just does not. Something just lies. Yeah, it's up here. Let's see. No. Come on. Okay. Uh, oh, come on. Because How does this make sense? The, these little shits are invulnerable due to the blue thing on it. But the roly polies are not. But we can shoot the holy. Yeah. Just... Yeah, that would make things a lot easier. Mm. It still means that we're going to need to dodge the other ones, but that is going to make things a lot easier. But again, should have put those things in a room. You should have put one of those in a room of its own so you can experiment without having to bother with these little shits. So yeah, that... That will probably go into just the biggest complaint I'll have about this game. Yeah, but even I haven't had too much complaints about this game myself. Maybe it's the only thing I feel. Okay, much better now. And I should probably use the usurper gun since that's the most damaging. Have I have been calling it the right thing? Organization, stun gun roller. Yeah, usurper shot. Okay. It doesn't help them if they are completely invulnerable in that little opening. That's one dealt with. And why are you so slow? Okay, now we can finally progress. Like that, and you, and be gone. Oof. And who hell? Going to show oh we have the freaking deer. Be okay. gone, Bambi. And I think another deer just spawns. 
Yep. Nope. Miss. It, it recovers pretty quickly from that, like instantly. Yeah, okay. Now I see with our max health still, we did a little pain goodness. Yeah. Wait. What is this way? Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, well, this is the point of no return then. Are you ready? No, we'll have to be. And yeah, we're going into overtime until this thing is dead and done. And what is it doing? And why is it red all of a sudden? Oh, it that was the lighting from what? The lighting from what? <laughs> Rummage is not impressed. Yes. <laughs> um. Oh, uh, 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 the hell? Yeah, yeah, I think this confirms it. We've been on the list making the blue bastard all the time. Yeah. Oh, hello. Uh, why is that moving the flower with a skeleton? Yeah, did it. yeah, this is some sort. This is some sort of mind fuckery that it's pulling. Here. Field of sunflowers. Yeah, it's. This is all psychological, then. That was supposed to represent Elro, I'm saying. Who? Uh, who the? Who the hell is this supposed to represent? I don't remember someone with a top hat or anything. Come on. Looks like a potion bottle to me. There are graves everywhere. Good. Is this one off first? No, it's, it's trying to mind fuck us. Um, there we go. Get the hell out of our head, you Bill Cypher wannabe. That can't of huh? Robin, my lovely daughter. Your mother would always talk about how she loved the life around the fields. When I first saw her, she wore the prettiest dress. She spoke endlessly of her love for nature. It became clear to me that her life of farming was one of the most free lives she could have. Her father showed talent in it and was assigned that job as a result. It's a nice dress she has. I kept trying my hardest to do the right thing. Now you're here. 
it this is this is flat this is what she's been having flashbacks to every now and then and she was been knocked out you say that you care but you conflict me it was just protecting you i don't know why you questioned my intentions you can clearly see where your ambition has led you and elro your mother was a farmer's daughter and she had a calm and safe life well, before my life mixed with hers, but that has nothing to do with being a farmer. I still wish you would pursue it. I think you stopped listening a long time ago, honestly. You made your mind up, but where has that led your brother Elro? You need to think of those closer to you as well. This isn't just about you. All I want you to do now is accept that you can do everything. Family comes before anything. Come to me, Robin. This is a trap. I'm pretty sure that would have led to a game over. Yeah, fuck you, you space uh, parasite. <laughs> Okay, a swipe across. Oh, the periodic pounding in. Oh, and it goes back. Okay. Oh, dear God. Yeah, uh, right there, Alice. Is... Uh, okay. Is that just there to be a pest? Got me again. Not this time. Nope. Yeah, that is that stupid thing is just to be an annoying volleyball. Okay, do we at least have a checkpoint up at that point? Or do we have to go through the entire mindfuck again? Wait, you've had those. Uh, Yo, now she is just... Is this... That's the second time only we've seen her pissed. through it pretty quickly though. Though I very much doubt that this is a uh, he's speeding up already. I very much doubt that this is a one phase boss. Well he has one more so he's gonna have okay. one more phase of this one. Oh it's covering Fuck your hands. No, I think you're the final phase. No, new pests. I saw that. No, you don't, just sneaky fuck. Uh, one more shot. I very much doubt that that is it. Or... No, it's still moving. Wait... The brain part is gone. That... that... Wait... The hell? <laughs> uh... Who and moreover, what the fuck are you? Uh, ivory low, yeah. 
Um, um, okay. So, wait. Just, uh, what the fuck? Uh, Big Bird's mechanic br uh, brother is, uh, complaining at us. <laughs> I faked us out there for a moment. And it controls the... It controls the eyes, so... The, the, it just... The, the other hell! No fake out this time. for that. I think we can take it. Missed me. Actually, what? Uh, oh, uh, the worm vehicle. So are the eyes some sort of biome? Ah. Okay, we might die after all. Uh. Oops, thank you. Uh. Uh. Okay, that was a bad idea trying to rush through it. There we go. <laughs> no, that shut him up. So, uh, the hell does all of that mean? Oh. There's a fuck ton of ivory in that thing, and we still have the seeds. Got very unlucky and oh hello there you're still you are still stuck on that mountain there you look surprised well at least Bambi is happy or maybe Bramby with the brambles on its anthers brambles for anthers <laughs> oh shit it's going to get impaled by the thing, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> run, Forrest, run! 
from the forest. Wait, isn't that where... Isn't that where Chrome kicked down that... No, I don't think it is. It... Yes, yes, just steal the show, you proud <laughs> piece of venison. <laughs> Plan to eat him and you. Or aren't you, I mean. Well, uh, whatever the. <laughs> whatever the planet was now, it's, uh, it's a whole lot more natural now. Whatever the planet was before, it's a whole lot more natural now. You're back. All those round trees outside, and the tremor stopped. You did it, didn't you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> More than deserved. Uh. All right, Robin. I won't try to, try to tell you what to do anymore. Oh. All it took for him to stop being overprotective was her saving the entire freaking planet. <laughs> uh. The place is still electrified. <laughs> oh well. What? Oh, Mina's going to be in for a surprise once that caps us up. Game by Joachim Sandberg, published by Bifrost. Force localization in MP2 games. Roboto. Oh. Oh. Tegan and Gustavo. The cast Robin, Nina, Alaro. So no voice act. And uh, of course, no voice actors. <laughs> uh, the Chemicals. Uh, Asian. Hmm? This is a Norwegian game! Uh, Tolo, Samba, Polro, Captain Myron, Dr. Gustavo, Tegan, Minora, who is only around for two scenes. What is what is with those seeds? Haneda, Ella, Pontus, Petra, the CC, Dracosa, the Bar Barton, <laughs> who, has, who has no other uh, lower half. Oh. Tolo, hmm. what will you do, Tolo? Thor and Sandy, Jan, Leticia, Leticia. I don't remember meeting them ever. Oh, now they're now they're looking to Tolo for leadership. And okay, uh, should we be worried about that? Uh, Silver Watchman asked Agent Grey. Probably missed a few mother mother's corners. Medelieve, Nobel. Lawrence, Emmett Darlin, Isling Ferrier, and there we have Samba, Bia Blockrock, Olivia Shard, Joseph Glass, yep. Mr. Chatter, Mr. Rink, One Concern Attacker, One Concern Defender, and yeah, the sisters making up. Not making out like some are probably going to think. <laughs> Certain things. Chemico chemist. Uh, uh, hello, one of the viewers. Michi, Sinira, Lori, Lore, EC scientist, Pete. <laughs> oh, uh, you, you guys survived. Uh, 
And Ash is still around, of course. That, hmm. You're going to watch over them, aren't you? And oh, you are still alive somehow. Wait, cop troller, come on. Proctus, Flipman, Albertus, Manobite, Squint, Yeast. Oh, someone survived the battle. What are you trying to do? Are, are you trying to strangle a corpse? Come on, dudes. I think he's trying to help him. It looked more like he was trying to choke him. More of the pupils? Boa Obstructor, come on. Oh! The Ancient Machine. Her Thunk. Buku. Inet. Carver. <laughs> Possessed Tunk, Omega Controller, Blocker, these are the bosses, the Star Worm, and Unnamed. Yeah, the EC's Ancestral Ship, and of course, thank you very much for playing Iconoclast. Goodbye, until next time. I'm surprised there is was by Norwegians to make this game. Yep. Hello, that that's the flower that Royal created. Yeah. Hmm. Is there really just no option for saving him then? It, it it's it's unlike Robin to abandon him. Hmm. I think this really in the end, really put her to a horrible hard time. 12 hours, 40% of all components, 34% of all the tweaks. Save new game plus file. Yeah, let's make, let's put one down here on the grumpy black. Hmm. And that's Sorry, going to put us back to the end. All right, then. Uh, yeah, we're already past two hours, but I'm just going to look things up here on TV Tropes to see if that gives any more insight. Like, what the hell was with the fucking bird? <laughs> uh, they, don't, they don't make it in Iconic Class 2. I hope it will give some answers to them. But that's yeah, like yeah. Yeah, I'd like to know what would happen going forward with the characters, but there'd have to be a new conflict then. And I very much hope that Tolo would not turn out to be another villain. Let's see. With uh, Fritz Brilliance of the TV Trope page. I'm going to lower the audio of this so it won't be as... Uh, so we can focus mostly on what I'm saying here. So just drop that another 10 decibels. No, no that is you. Both you and the game are at minus 8 decibels, so there we go. Oh. Okay, that should be a lot more audible. Now, let's see. The first phase of the final boss isn't just for show. The shadows are symbolic of the people that she failed. The switches represent her desire to right these failures. The shadows get more aggressive the more Robin picked dialogue options that offended her allies, and more passive the more she picked options that placated them, as a representation of how heavily she believes she's failed others. Okay, that's so, so the dialogue options actually have an effect. And... Yeah, the first one I'm pretty sure is Elro, the blade it used looked broken. Yeah. So furthermore, the, the shadow representing Ace in black is the only one that can be directly attacked and easily avoided until it fades on its own. As Robin is using a stun gun, her desire to fix that situation involved being able to avoid killing black by either knocking her out or leaving the area entirely. Alternatively, it could symbolize her realizing that pain in black was in so much pain and so far gone that there was no way to help her other than delivering a mercy kill. Yeah, Black turned out to be a lot more sympathetic. Still a villain, but yeah. Yeah, and you know, imagine 
he had been having migraine for non-stop for over a hundred years, almost two hundred even. Yeah. Let's see. Speaking of the final boss, the pilot of the Star Worm also wields a wrench. The last phase of the battle is just a fight between two birds with mechanics. <laughs> no, bird with wrenches. <laughs> yeah, Robin <laughs> with a wrench. Okay. The main injuries suffered by the second form of the final boss involve it losing an eye, followed by having her hand ripped off. These are roughly the same injuries suffered by Elro over the course of the game. Further involving the final boss, the theme of the last phase is titled Castle Doctrine, which is the same name as a particular legal doctrine which states that in certain circumstances, force up to and including lethal force may be used to repel invaders from one's property with low legal consequence. Consider how the Birdman sees things. As far as he knows, the plant is his fuel depot, or at least he has the right to use it as such, and humans just showed up out of nowhere one day and started using the ivory in it. From his perspective, he's the one the Castle Doctrine applies to. Yeah, but that, that, that bird just suggests... leaves so much... opens up so much for speculation. Like, it controlled the eyes. Uh, yeah, I, I'm guessing they maybe created the planet. Like, yeah, there was... Yeah, supposed to be a sort of fuel depot, and that they just made it colonizable or something, or a, 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 literally a galactic pit stop, where they could have a, a picnic or something on the surface as they refuel their stuff. Because I think, uh, go on, go on. Like uh, there weren't any ruins or anything, but there was that strange contraption that allowed transportation around the place. And that suggests to me that, yeah, it, it, it's basic. The entire planet to me seems like basically one gigantic planetary uh, picnic place, a picnic spot with a fuel tank next to it. Yeah, the, how to say this? I sort of feel like they may have uh, made it look pretty to camouflage it. Probably Could be, if you're yeah. gonna make a new depot look like a habitable planet, of course someone may colonize on it. Yeah, and the pictures that we found in one part of the game, they, they were showing signs of, they were showing locations from Earth. So at one point, at least two colonization ships or colonization shuttles uh, left Earth, landed on the planet, as I'll call it for now. And yeah, started anew there. Discovered ivory, discovered the things it could do. Yeah, I, I, I want to know more about all of this, just before and after the effects. So... Yeah, hmm. this game has potential, are they? Yeah, we, see, we saw some uh, people surviving that could become new villains, or we may see more of the bird people. Let's see. Let's see. Iconic class 2, this a tweet from the creator. Um... Uh, this seems uh, yeah, this seems like a joke by the creator. A tease for it. <laughs> Let's see anything on Reddit on this? Is it uh... mm -hmm. yeah, it doesn't look um, let's see, anything in here then? Uh, it looks to me that there are no plans at the moment to make an Iconic Class 2. But then again, it took seven years to make this game. So even if, even if they started right away at the sequel, it would have 
we probably only would have heard it you know, about it in 2025. And there is something else that is in the way of that, because there is another game that they made, or at least oh. are working on. Let me find it here on Steam. Let's see. Lost Ruins. Ta -ta -ta. Altari Games, Dangan Entertainment. Let's see. Uh, that's showing a lot of other stuff as well. Let, hmm. Let, let's see. Class. Yeah, I'm definitely buying the soundtrack of this game. Let's see. Joachim Sandberg. And... Noitu Love 2. What the hell is this? Okay. Uh, apparently they made another game. It looks... It looks simpler, and yeah, we'll we'll take a look at this on Sunday, I think. Yeah, uh, after card. What and, game is it? Uh, no, way, no way to love two devolution. There's a demo of it apparently as well, but it's only five bucks. Hmm. Let's see, publisher Dan Dangan Entertainment. There's a lot more in here, including this Lost Ruins. It does not seem to actually have Jokum's, uh, Jokum Sandberg's involvement in it, or at least they're not mentioned among the uh, developers or publishers. So, hmm. You might be in the writer. Anything Something. on Bifrost? No, Bifrost Entertainment has only released Iconic Clasts, at least on Steam. Okay, okay I'll, I'll, I'll take... Hmm. It could just be that this is their one and only thing, or that they are working on something in the background. Hmm. Could be. Yeah, when you think of the years to make the first game, a lot of it could go into the story and making it uh, work so as smooth as possible and all that. For yeah, it didn't do good. It didn't really seem to be very buggy. Also, something that we sort of overlooked, uh, according to you know, this, that. Uh... The Ivory Shortage might seem like a plot hole, given that Ivory is produced when a transcendence fails, as the person's body wastes away into it. That, that is why that entire room was filled with, well, Ivory. It, it was literally filled with it. So that must mean for every, for every successful transcendence, there has to be enough failures to provide the Ivory for the infusion in the first place. Okay, yeah. The logical means to solve the issue is to use transcendence as a means of burial, but no one even mentions the idea. But when you see how selfish Mother is, it starts to make sense. There would be a chance the corpse would come back to life as an agent or a medium, and then try to usurp her with their new powers. She's trying to prevent a rebel from... I'm not even... I'm not even sure how to... Say this word, Vethonium Rebel from being created. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Uh, yeah, that I think that'll do for extras on this now. But uh, yeah, I I definitely hope that uh, Jokum Sandberg continues to make games, or at the very least advice, because. This this is probably one of if this is probably one of if not the best game that we might have streamed so far. Uh, yeah, I will put this and uh, Ritual of the Night uh, to the, those the best so far. Yeah. At yeah. least for this year. As yeah, as much as I'd want to see more of these characters in this world. Uh, we have seen enough to know that they'll make it by. They they'll survive. Uh, so yeah, then I guess it's time then. 
sir. <laughs> this has been Iconoclasts. Thank you all for watching, be it now, later, or on YouTube. And as always, special thanks to you, Dr. Kieran. Oh, you're most welcome, lad. And yeah, this is <laughs> this is also the end of our extended weekend of streaming then. That which means that Thursday we'll be starting with something new. And I already have an idea of what to start with. Again, we uh, this has been a rather longer game, not as long as Ritual of the Night. But the next game should be shorter at the very least. But I hope it won't be any less entertaining. <laughs> In any case, I've been wanting to play it for like a decade or so. But yeah, always just distractions and such. But for now, again, thank you for watching and until Thursday, but until then, until then. Be safe, folks! <laughs>